as we face another week of gruelling power cuts, I'm sure many of us once again talking about reducing our dependency on ESCOM. Often the upfront cost of going solar or putting in an inverter puts people off. But increasingly, we're seeing rental options for solar panels, inverters and grids coming to the market. Let's discuss this now with the CEO of Go Solar, Andrew Middleton. Andrew, thank you very much for joining us. First of all, how busy are you at the moment? Yeah, thanks for firstly, thanks for having me, Sally. Uh, yes, we're incredibly busy. Uh, the phones are going off the hook, which uh, you know, we wish it wasn't because of load shedding, but yeah, very, very nice to be busy, uh, hopefully in a different circumstance soon. Talk to me about how your system works. It's, it's a rental of a solar system, isn't it? Yes, we call it uh, solar as a service. So, I mean, what we're really trying to do is simplify solar. So we think solar is an incredible technology. Uh, there's no reason why there shouldn't be broad adoption in South Africa. Uh, we've got an abundance of sun, it's green, and it's fast becoming one of the cheapest sources of energy globally. Um, we just find it, it, it only really works for the higher income household at the moment. And there's a lot of complexity, and if it's not managed or serviced correctly, then um, it, it can be um, unreliable. So we offer it as a, a fixed monthly cost, it includes maintenance. We go and look after that solar solution for life and make sure we stay ahead of the technology. So am I right that you will, for a certain amount, you will put in the solar panels, an inverter, a battery, all the installation and a maintenance? Is that correct? That's correct, yes. So what we do is we... We simplify it. We, we scope it depending on the needs of the consumer. So we have very standardized products and we tailor those uh, products um, accordingly. Give me a ballpark of what customers are paying you every month. We start at 1,580 Rand per month. That's our entry level product. And we have a, a larger product that gets up to 3,999 per month. So that's, right. that's the range. That and that entry level, would that be what for a family of four? Yeah, it uh, can be for a family of four. That's generally a medium consumer. So, um, you know, someone that can spend between 1,500 and 3,000 Rand per month on electricity. We aim to be 60 to 70% of the energy needs of the household long term. So it's a grid tied solution. We don't take you off the grid. We keep you in parallel with the grid. Yeah, so there is some dependence on the grid. And a lot of people are saying being fully off grid is really difficult. Talk to me about, let's say you're paying one five to you. Uh, will you see mm. a massive difference in your uh, electricity bill? Will it come down by at least one five or not? What are the, what are, how do the sums work out in terms yeah. of budgeting your electricity? Yeah, so you will see an impact. It, it all depends on how you use it. And obviously you maximize the use of the solar usage. Right now, you won't see a 1,500 Rand decrease in, uh, in winter. Winter is obviously it's shorter, shorter days and there's you know, in weather, for instance, in Cape Town. But in summer, we do believe that you will start, you will see very close to that 1,500 Rand parity if the system's working correctly. And in time, you will, con you will um, save money in the future. But right now, it's not, a, you know, it's not going to take the, the full 1,500 Rand off your bill. All right. But what it will do is give you power during low chenny. But I presume you wouldn't be able to run your ovens or other or geysers, for example, during that time. That's correct. So we split it between a non-essential and essential. So the essentials are running during load shedding. Your non-essentials like your geyser and your oven are running when there's no load shedding. But we just take those off the battery so that they don't run the battery flat. But uh, this... Does ESCOM or City Power, do they charge a premium if you use any type of solar system? They don't. They are, um, there is the, um, there's a lot of news in the press around a solar tax. Uh, we obviously, um, we are following that, but what they do, um, what ESCOM or City Power do ask for is for you to shift to a certain tariff and uh, that, uh, that can be a, a tariff that is a, has a peak or off peak. So it can um, make it more expensive to, to use electricity when solar can't produce. But that's why we've got batteries in, in place. So we, st we still think there's a, mm. um, a long term future for solar. So we know that necessity is the mother, mother of invention and innovation. So this is a, an interesting system. Uh, it sounds quite appealing. But also in a situation like this, you'll get a lot of fly-by-nights. There have been complaints about some companies who install solar. Talk to me about who mm. regulates you and what advice do you have for consumers who are obviously going to research the market if they're interested in renting solar? Mm. No, absolutely. Now, look, there, there are a lot of players in the market, and, and I think there's a lot of really good players in the market. So um, we want to be part of that. Um, at this stage, we don't require any licensing from nurses. So with every one of our systems does does 
require being registered or approved with the municipality. So the municipalities regulate us or if we're dealing directly with ESCOM. Um, and yeah, I think consumers would just need to make sure that there's a recognized installers, there's lots of good accreditation, there's an industry body out there um, that looks after the industry. So uh, there's a lot of good um, in, uh, people out in the industry. So consumers shouldn't fear, but unfortunately there have been one or two um, bad stories out there. Um, but it's, I think it's the minority. Yeah, so ju consumers just need to be absolutely aware um, of doing things the right way. Thank you so much for that interesting information. That is CEO of Go Solar, Andrew Middleton, talking about a system where you can actually just rent the whole thing. They'll install it for you, charge you a monthly amount. Of course, what that does mean is that you don't have to do the massive upfront payment that a lot of people still find a barrier to entry when it comes to looking at alternative power in their homes. Still to come on SA.